Continuing on the fuel tank thing, um, as you can see here where I'm up to, I've made a side glass, which is basically just a couple of bends of copper, U-turns, a bit of clear plastic airline. So what it's going to do is show me the level, roughly, of how much I've got in the tank. It does work, I've tried it with some oil, so that works. I've also made two takeoff points. One is for the fuel going out, and one here is for the fuel going in. Now I've used some brass, um, just get something to point with. I've used some brass. Um, uh, unions, I don't know what you call them, like bulkhead fittings, which I got from B and Q, 15 milli. The pipe was this 10 milli pipe. I've just used a bit of the airline again. I made a tight fit. Just remember, it doesn't worry have to worry about air because it's only fuel coming in and out at that stage. It doesn't matter. So one goes in. If you look from the inside, see if you get inside show you inside, I don't really be able to see very well. You can see the copper coil and if you look closely, if you can find a, a good angle, there we go, you can see the pickup point from the middle of the tank and that goes out to there. That's going to be the pickup point, and this is the return line for the diesel that's not being used. These two points here are the copper coil. I'm going to put some 90 degree bends on them, a little bit of a takeoff, and another 90 degree bend. So that's going to be for water. So I want the connection to be outside the tank, so I don't want water possibly leaking into the into the oil. So my next job now is to seal up the lid, which I'm going to use little bits of uh, aluminium like that and just pop rivet them around the lid to make it a tight seal and then I'll put some um, silicone seal on I want to try and make it as tight as possible for fumes because I'm going to need a take off um, for the fumes, any fumes and they've got to be vented to somewhere outside you don't want the fumes going inside the car which they did on the original method <laughs> my original car and it was as greasy inside as it was outside so there we go so I'll keep, keep in touch and I'll show you where I get up to next thank you